skunk lifestyle what's going on so if you see this building behind me you probably should know where i'm at today previously you know about the 400 horsepower markex now he has a 500 horsepower markex that he has just boosted and on top of that he has a crown a royal saloon that he's also boosted so yo i'm gonna go link him today see what's up see what the vibe is like and you don't know the vibes already big up my sponsors as always miracle corp monster grab and go for fueling us dollar financial for financing us and you don't know amzile if you ain't using amzile using nick welcome <laughs> good to see you again <laughs> welcome to the lab i'm here to show you a lot of stuff a lot of exciting stuff that we've been up to people say we've gone missing or hiding but we haven't We've actually been in the lab developing the Markex and the Crown and other Toyotas out there. Allow me to show you some stuff today, yeah. what I've been up to. Um, I know a lot of persons have been saying, Roland, where have you been? Yeah. Where have you been? The Markex community, all the above. But we've been in the lab and we've been doing a lot of research and development. And I'm about to show you some custom products that we have. We have the X1000. We have the X500. Yeah. Yes, we have an X1000. So let me show you that first. Show me All right. Okay, no problem. So Nick, what we have here is a X1000 horsepower engine. Gotcha. Yes. And let me show you something. Tell you something special about this engine, Nick. The engine is an original H350 engine, yeah. as you'd imagine, and it's going now. What customer come to me and say, Roland, I want 1000 horsepower. So this is a complete build, nothing factory, other than oil pump. Right. Custom piston, custom rods, custom cams, yeah. custom springs, custom retainers, fully custom made, all in-house parts developed. And we work closely with some providers such as Wiseco, CP, um, BC Racing. We work closely with the best of the best. So we can put together an engine that could deliver 1,000 horsepower. So these are all uh, custom spec. All made. custom made. You First call, one. Call them and let them know yes. So we sent them. We sent them the specification. So we sent them a sample. This is a sample of a stock Mark X350. And as you can see, this bore. Yeah. 98 millimeter. This is huge. Yeah, man. Very big. Beefy rods. Yeah. In my opinion, the rods are good for 600. These are the similar size rods as the 2JZ. What's the plan for the training? Oh, the transmission is also being custom made. Okay. That one is at um, level 10 right now, being custom developed. They said the most they can warranty for is 800 horsepower. Okay. I said, listen, it's a thousand more and more. So they said, Roland, if it break, it break okay. at the end of the day. So, so what you might do is you might make a thousand out of the motor, but you might, you might care about down to 800. Exactly. We might just go for numbers. Okay. But in terms of um, reliability. reliability I would say 800 is reliability, but um, for numbers and bragging rights, yeah, yeah man, a thousand. All right, so but day-to-day -day driving, yeah. So what we did, we sent them a piston. As you, as you know, there's no shelf product available. Right. So we sent them a piston. We sent them a, a head stud, a head bolt. Right. So, so we sent ARP one of this. ARP developed me a bolt that we use. Right. And we sent them a bearings also. Me and I'm Conrad, so we sent them both. And all the parts were custom made for us. In which uh, we are, we're planning to develop packages now, such as a 1000 horsepower engine package, a 500 horsepower engine package, and a 400 horsepower engine package for the 250 nice. right now. So we have a lot of 250 in the market, so 250 guys are feeling left out. Yeah. So I'm about to show you a 250 today also that. 250 owners can actually feel good to know that hey we have to leave out the 250 out there and we all know that we're bringing the 250 to compete against the BMW 328i and the 428i right. that is the benchmark that we're trying to compete against and the 350 we're trying to compete with the 435i and the M4 nice all right so that is the benchmark that we have going on right now so this is my little lab that I've been working on yeah, I'm gonna spin the it. engine so you can see it yeah man spin the engine uh, what we have here is something similar to a GTR engine. Right. Bore and stroke. Yeah. The GTR is a 3.5 liter versus this being a 3.8 for the GTR versus this being a um, 3.5. Right. Nick, what Toyota did, they bolted the crank to the side of the block. Okay. So there's four under here. Yeah. And there's two per side. 
So there are six bolts holding a connecting rod. Right. Total of 30 bolts holding the crank. Nice. Only the GTR does that. Yeah. That so is just crazy. It's like a baby GTR motor. It's like a D-stroke GTR motor. Yeah. It is. That's what it is. So a you just started to GTR. figure this out. See, now you pull it out of the... Yes, yeah, since we started to dissect it and pull up the engine. And yeah. Because again, we have to understand the what we're working with. To be to better off our tuning package, you have to understand the engine first. Yeah. And um, that is what you see AMS do, um, Real Street and other tuning companies out there. Right. They first have to get an engine. Because that is what you have to understand first. What right. is the limitation in the engine out there? Mm -hmm. One of our limitations that we saw with this engine was the fact that it was 12.5 compression. Oh, the compression on high. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, what well, that is, well, they did it that way because it was originally all it was motor. already an all motor engine, it's a bad all motor engine, as you can see, it's a GDI technology yeah. again. So they come with 12.5 compression, mm -hmm. that's a lot of compression to run turbo on, right? So, what I did, I ended up um, dropping the compression to 10.5 with that's a custom yeah, piston, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly, custom piston, and we dropped the compression down. And you know, one of the beauty about this engine to make. It comes with 12 injectors from factory. Now that is a tuner's dream. More fuel, more power. At yeah. the end of the day, um, that's what it's about. Fuel, the more fuel they can put into an engine. Remember, an engine is just a pump. Yeah. So what it needs is air and fuel at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And that is our concept behind the engine and keeping it alive. The fact that we can put more fuel in this engine right. at the end of the day. Most of us with our 2JZ and our RB, you see us running 12 injectors. Same thing with the GTR. We're trying to build an intake manifold to give us 12 injectors. Right. From factory Toyota did that. So why do you think we should complete this part? By, uh, we're waiting on, the owner is waiting on the transmission. For me, I would have put it in a long time. I'm a gear to I would have wait for the transmission. All right, so I'm just gonna show you some of the, some of the products that we use yeah. to develop um, this platform that you see right here. Let me get some of the box. Because we have to balance. Oh, so can, exclusively yeah. made for um, Monkey Ridge Racing. That's, that's your company? That is part of the company, companies that we're using, a partnership with them. Okay. Yeah. So what we have here is we have an ATI damper that we're going to be using. Again, we're going to be turning from factory, this engine turns 6,500 yeah. RPM, right? No, we're planning to turn this to 8,000, 8,500 RPM. Yeah. So again, we have to balance the engine, mm -hmm. right? So an ATI, again, some Corella, nice, nice Corella parts. You know, Corella is the best out there. Yeah. And again, we have um, Wise Curse. So, and as you can see, again, it's not only one engine we're building. Yeah. Here we have some ARP stuff. Right. ARP bolts, some main bearings. Yeah. And some king. So, as you can see, it's, what we're developing is a thousand horsepower package. Mm -hmm. Similar, it's a new Jay Z. Yeah. We can't go around that. Link. It is the new Jay Z. Um, Yes, we know that BMW have a really good engine, which is a B58. We can't knock them for that. Right. Okay. But again, um, for what the 2GR is from Toyota, it's a really good but platform. I can't fit it on the 2GR. <laughs> I do. I do. It's the future. Yeah. That engine is the future at the end of the day. So you're kind of just getting a head start on it right now. Exactly. What we're doing is we're partnering with um, different players in the market to make our dream a reality, right? Yeah. We're Toyota. We're fans of Toyota and Toyota platform. Right. <laughs> so you're going to show me the, 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 the X500 now? So what we're going to be seeing now is the X500 package. Alright. Oh. That's uh, on a 350 as well? That's on another 350. Speaking of grumble, why don't hit my courier the 500? Let's hear the 500 now. Yeah. Alright, so we're going downstairs so you can hear it and oh, you'll you see a pulling it. You're going to show me the crown as well? Yeah, we're going to show you the car. You're going to see it in action just like this for, I would say for December. Yeah. You're going to come and see it. Those last four markets for December. Mm -hmm. All right.
was a cold start pull again for protection you know not getting a lot of boost because of the temperature of the engine all right yeah. there's a electronic boost controller that is smart to monitor the engine temp all right so as it gets warmer the power goes up yeah. so let's do another pull Provided by Elite. Again, they're safe to there just in case for the customer they want to jump in and drive fast when it's in cold. Now it's a 6.5. 6.5 phone boost. I can give you a shot with the boost so you can see the gate. Yes, we can. So let's do that. Lifestyle, yo! <laughs> when you see how the RPM and the, the miles per run up on it a while ago, XR run. I mean, I haven't. I mean, we haven't gotten a chance to get a pull in it yet, which we're going to go now. So I'm just gonna flip the camera so we can get a proper pull in it today. You don't know the vibe already. Big up to Roland as always, elite performance, always keeping us up to date with what's happening on the market. This market, you see me. I have to big him up still. He's been putting a lot of time and effort into the whole Markets community. So I don't know the vibes. Every brand has their guru or their go-to. So big up to big up to Roland again. We're gonna take a pull in this Markets. Kind of excited, kind of timid at the same time. I don't know what to expect. So I'll give him an honest review. Let's go. Yeah. Yo, Five hundred. Five in a bro. Hmm? You know the vibe already. You know? Yes, man. Yes, man. So Nick. <laughs> You saw it on the dyno, eh? <laughs> well, sure I can't put a run, let's see. We, 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 we can't break, you know? Yeah, man, we have, we have enough brake, man. Yeah, Roland. Yes, so man. This is a boost controller. That's a boost right? controller and a wide band. Okay, but nice. the beauty about this boost controller that I'm using is a smart boost controller. Um, integrated with the wide band, everything. So. This one was a monster. No, man, this I thing is no, literally thick. And I have to be feathering it. And there's a nice sound, it almost sounds like a GTR. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does, yeah, it, does right? it does. And when I got that, you're just going to punch it, you know. No, they're not. They're not. Now this one have any suspension on it? All stock. All stock. Well, All stock. All stock, Nick. A uh, while ago I hit a uh, boost cut, so it protect the engine. So that's what we hit a while ago. So I just let the computer just learn back again. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah, because we were wondering what was happening a while ago, but the boost was um, fell off. Yeah, yeah bro. Nick, this, this boy is fast. That's I a 500 know. horsepower market. Yeah, you can see you just crack your foot and the car just literally finish the clock. When you yeah. look, you're reaching like 230 in no time. Yes. I want you to show me the crown though. Yes, we're gonna see the crown right now. So let's take a look at it, alright? All right. Let me get the keys. Seat and all lifestyle. Jamaica's first boosted crown. A Royal Saloon from Boost. Jamaica's first boosted crown. We have the first official boosted crown. Again, it's a baby crown 2.5. We also have the V8. That's a 4.8 coming out very soon. Yeah. Twin turbo, not yeah. one, two turbo. But this one is a 2.5 turbocharged. Very nice car. Chrome Royal. Uh, I disconnected the boost hose because it's in braking mode right now. Yeah, yeah. So I don't want the owner to drive it on the boost yeah. without the tune. Yeah. I get him up to the 800 kilo. All the cars that we built turbocharged, we actually asked the owners to put 800 kilo on the car before going on boost. Okay. That allow me to break in the turbo because yeah. the turbo have to break in and also that allow me to get some data on the car um, that I'm capturing all right yeah so we're gonna take a pull in it and hear it he wanted this very subtle very quiet similar to Leon that we did the first one yeah and um, it's very nice inside so let's take a look So we want to see the all motor, see what it feels like, and then next time you come by, you'll get to see what the turbocharge feels like. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so you can tell me the difference. So, what, what was it, the owner's like mindset? That, yeah, put on your seatbelt. What, what was, was his owner? mindset to be going with the um, 250 or the, yeah, the boost. crown? No, boost. Yeah. Oh wow, a man! A lot of people want to go boost. Boost again. It's like a luxury. It, it's like a luxury. Yeah. You have a turbocharger, you can move the weight. Remember, this is heavier than the markets yeah and it come out the same markets um, so, so, so engine. Like owner like this he's not really going for some boy um he's not going for race, speed or right. race he's more about luxury yeah. he wants the luxury look at the interior all touch screen all the above come on um <laughs> come there, on huh? this is all nice right here nick nick these come with massage and seat they come with fridge in the back of them all the above what more you want True. it's luxury i have so many friends who own bmw as a roller and listen the crown is nice yeah it is all right so let's feel what it feels like on the um all motor side all right um and then when you come back you can turbocharge it's gonna be ready for turbo after 800 um kilo as you can hear this the whistling of the turbo okay but we're not getting any boost but we're not getting any boost because again, I'm trying to protect the engine. Yeah. So it's actually oh, so you're breaking on, in the turbo. Breaking in the turbo. The turbo has to be break it, broken into under the warranty okay. with the manufacturer of the turbo. Okay. What All brand right? turbo is this one? And this is Com. Okay. This is the oilless. Um, in yes, fact, yes, um, yes, yes, I saw where they ran seven the other day, seven seconds the other day yeah. with this turbo. So again, it's a 250. So imagine when you yeah, had a little bit of boost. Feel feel the difference between this and the turbocharged one definitely all right now so once this is turbocharged then you'll actually see basically for um the subscribers that had originally asked yeah what's the, what's the feel safe for if water if rain falls again we have a we have a bypass valve okay. for it and um we're trying to make it electronic it's manual right now okay. where you have to pull a pin Right. However, we're developing an electronic valve that allows you to press a button and it basically recirculate the water okay. to drop outside. Okay. All right. Just like we're doing on all motor, it's gonna be like this. Right. When you check that valve. But again, this pulls good. Yeah. No boost. All right. It's really pulls really good, right? Yeah. So imagine you add an additional hundred yeah. dollars for more. The crowd comfortable. <laughs> I tell you, a lot of people say Roland the Crown is so much comfortable. A lot of persons will more gravitate uh, towards it. Do you have it. any customers linking with any athletes? We have athletes also. We have a V8 athlete to be done. Turbo? Yeah, turbocharged, twin turbo. Yeah, that customer wants to go radical yeah. with a twin turbo 4.8. 
Lita V8. Come in like your custom and mad like you. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, at the end of the day, they like what we're doing. Yeah. And we're offering a reliable solution. Nothing to blow up or hurt anything. You understand? Yeah. yeah everything is all safe. As you can see, I have the warm functionality behind it. Yeah. So um, I have a lot of functionality where you can't ever put the car in drive because if the car is not cool enough, no matter how much you put it in drive and press gas, it's not going away. Okay. So it allows you to do a cold start. So there's a lot of safety behind it yeah. that I've been finding in Toyota ECU that we can implement for customers. Nice. All right. And that allows us to protect the transmission also because if the transmission goes above a certain temperature, as you'd imagine, I'm going to shut down the car. Yeah. All right. So I'm protecting all of these cars that you see here. Yo, Roland, trust me, it's always a pleasure, you know. Yes, man. You know. Yeah, man. Just yeah. Uh -huh. So we're heading back to base. So anyway. Yes, we're gonna head back to base, and um, as you can, next time you come by, you'll see that you'll be able to get a pull in the first turbocharged Crown on boost. Nice. Yeah, lifestyle. You know the vibe already. Big up to Roland as always. Thank you so much, Nick. And again, I showed you the Crown, the first turbocharged Crown. Not, I don't know if it's the first one in the world or what, but we have our first turbocharged um, 250 Crown. Expect to see our V8. 4.8 twin turbo crown coming out very soon and I also showed you our first monster 500 last for turbocharged Mark X right nice. that one was scary to drive in we have to work on the brake yeah. I plan to put the six piston um, ISF brakes on that one yeah. because again I handed it to the customer and the customer returned it yeah. and I said Roland I can't drive this yeah it's not stopping so again we're gonna have to improve on the brakes on that and again the more we're playing with the car is the more we're gonna learn about the car at the end of the day um, next time you come by, you, you also saw the 1000 horsepower for engine in development. X1000. And X1000, right? So we have the X1000, the X500, and this is going to be the X370 very soon, which is going to be estimated 370 horsepower, all right? Yeah, Possibly 400. So we're going to call it the X400 very soon. Let's make the numbers. Nick is always a pleasure. It was always a pleasure to be here. And at the end of the day, you're here, you're here to see what we're doing. Yeah. We're not just sleeping, we're making it happen for the Toyota community. Um, we've been seeing a lot of communication acts in Roland Wap, you're scared of VJ, you're scared of this. Ah, it's, glad, and I'll bring that up. up I'll that, bring yeah. that up at the end of the day. VJ knew, VJ and I know that the car that VJ wants to race, the owner is not here. So I don't have access to the car. And VJ wants to race that particular car. So as soon as the owner returns and I get access to the keys for that car, I'll race VJ, all right? But until then, we have other cars being developed. I see um, the guy with the M4 in Westmoreland talking, talking, talking. Don't worry, we're coming for you. We hear you make up a whole heap of nice with the M4. We're coming for you, all right? Grace, spinning ain't winning. Yeah. Learn that. When you spin a whole heap, you're not winning. So, we'll see you back up on markets one day. We're going to destroy And we have other projects working with. Yo, listen. So, Nick, let them know. Trouble there, <laughs> <laughs> Bless up, Nick. Bless up. See? <laughs> Lifestyle. My cut left Roland right now, you know, but big up. Roland was actually the first person to allow me to drive in a um, boosted Mark X and a boosted Crown. So, yo, big up to Elite Performance for that. And you don't know, I hope you're liking these type of vlogs. We're out. See you next week. Wait.